If there is anyone out there who still doubts that America is a place where all things are possible, who still wonders if the dream of our founders is alive in our time, who still questions the power of our democracy, tonight is your answer. Diane Feinstein had proposed that they insert into the legislation uh, wording that exempted American citizens. And that was something that the sponsors of the bill, Carl Levin and John McCain, as well as the Obama White House, decided not to do. How did this happen? Uh, I, well, the most interesting exchange occurred at the end of the day when the judge was questioning the government lawyers and kept trying to press them for an assurance that uh, I or any of the other plaintiffs would not be uh, you know, that they could, government could guarantee that we would not be picked up by the NDAA, which of course permits the government to strip us of due process, hold us, uh, not only allow the military to hold us, uh, but hold us in a military facility, including an offshore uh, military facility. And the government just repeatedly would not do that. Uh, it was a really sort of uh, frightening moment when it was clear that the nebulous language of the bill, even in the view of the government, offered no protection. It's the answer that, that led those who've been told for so long by so many to be cynical and fearful and doubtful about what we can achieve to put their hands on the arc of history and bend it once more toward the hope of a better day. You know, this is a long document, the NDAA. We're only talking about two sections, section 1021 and section 1022 which in essence allows the executive branch to strip an American citizen of their constitutional rights to due process and to hold military facilities. Uh, that's what we're questioning, a very, very tiny part of the bill, which I think, uh, you know, you don't have to be a legal scholar to determine is clearly unconstitutional. I mean, the egregious violation of constitutional rights is really, uh, you know, undeniable. Does the administration not see at all how a president asserting that he has the right to kill an American citizen without due process and that he's not going to even explain why he thinks he has that right? I would send those questions or take those questions to Treasury or, or Justice. I don't, I don't have anything on that for you. Since the government has done nothing to ameliorate the problems that push people out into the streets, uh, then it becomes very easy to link these peaceful, nonviolent, dissident movements with terrorism, and at that point we're all finished. And I think that, that, you know, it is for those of us who are fighting this bill, it's an understanding that it's not about them, uh, i.e. those on the outside. It's, it's really about us. And from the millions of Americans who volunteered and organized and proved that more than two centuries later, a government of the people, by the people, and for the people has not perished from the earth. This is your victory. Thank you.